God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The way of God is so simple. It's to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. It's before you die, for the wages of sin is death. In order to get to heaven, your faith, your trust, and your heart must be in Jesus Christ. The Bible speaks of a heaven and a hell. The Bible speaks of righteousness and unrighteousness. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes out to the Father but by me. God has Jesus Christ for salvation. Satan has religion. God has one man whose name is Jesus. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. That name is Jesus. Satan has names as Allah, Mary, Joseph Smith. But those are names that will not be accepted into heaven. You can be either right with God or you can be wrong with God. But the standard of God is Jesus Christ. Now Jesus Christ has to be the biblical Jesus Christ. For Paul warns the Corinthian church that there's another Jesus. There's another gospel. There's another spirit. And if you want to be involved in a charismatic movement, there is definitely an unholy spirit. And yet with Jesus Christ, there is the Holy Spirit that comes and dwells in the believer by faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Now the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, for the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. And Paul says that there's another gospel, so when we preach to you on the streets of Daytona Beach, we have got to be sure that we have the biblical gospel to preach to you, that we are not preaching of any man's ways, but that of God. And the biblical gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and he was buried and he arose again the third day according to the scriptures now there's another gospel out there quite many but I will sum it up in one characteristic of a false gospel or another gospel you must do or earn your way into heaven is a false gospel. You will earn and work your way into hell by God the Creator saying to you who suffered and died, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And yet, Lord, look at what I've done. Look what I've done in your name. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. See, you can be seriously in a religion and be seriously out of the will of God. And dead in trespasses and sin. See, you got the realm of God and you got the realm of Satan. You got good versus bad. And the problem with Satan is he is the imitator. 
Antichrist. The Antichrist is going to be so much like the real Christ that when Jesus comes back the second advent, they're not even going to know his name. Satan has a religion according to Corinthians and he has ministers that look righteous but they're not and the, the point and the questions I point to you today is there's a heaven and there's a hell and you cannot say I'm going to heaven minus Jesus Christ I flip beads beads don't get you to heaven I am a good person. The Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. Well, preacher, I'm righteous. There is none righteous. No, not one. You cannot get to heaven on your merit. You cannot get to heaven by you alone. You are in such a condition that God says, I have got to go down there and I have to do something for you to be saved. And if you're so good and so wonderful, then why is there a Jesus Christ? When God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Because you can't save yourself. Your religion can't save you. Your works will come up short. You see... Everything will be weighed upon, upon the Lord Jesus Christ, my Savior, which can be yours. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. There is a heaven, and there is a hell. And if you choose to reject that, when you die, you'll be shocked to be find yourself in a place called hell. And you will not ever come out. When you die, you will become a Bible believer. You may say, well, I'm an atheist. You will find out when you're dead that there is a God. And there is a place called hell. You will come to know that the preaching every Saturday morning is true. And is right according to the King James Bible. There is Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. And there's anything else that will get you into hell. You can have heaven by Jesus Christ, or you can have hell, anything, or nothing. Hell is simple. Hell in John chapter 3 says we're condemned already. You were born to die, and without Jesus Christ, you were born to die to go to hell. And yet God is long-suffering. It's not willing that any should perish. And for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, because we can't do nothing. What right do you have to stand before Jesus Christ who suffered and died, and say, Jesus, look how well I was. Look how good I was, Jesus. And I wouldn't be surprised if you hear, there is none good. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. I definitely, according to the scriptures of Matthew, depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. You can be involved in anything called religion, called science, called education, called atheism, any ism, any idolatry, anything, and not be known by God. You could be walking about thinking you're right with God, and God says, I never knew you. I don't know who you are. I am of no one of importance. And yet I am known in heaven by my faith and belief on Jesus Christ. A man's name is written into the Lamb's book of life, 
by the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And there's no other way. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The fact is, there's a heaven and there's a hell. And oh, God wouldn't send anybody to hell. You want to make a bet? He's a holy God. He says, be holy, for I am holy, and we cannot be holy without Jesus Christ. We cannot be righteous without Jesus Christ. When you stand before God without Jesus Christ, you are unrighteous, you are unholy, and you will be cast into the lake of fire that burneth forever by the Holy God that suffered and died for you. And you need not go to hell. And you may say, preacher, well, I'm a Jehovah Witness. We don't believe that Jesus is God. Well, I feel sorry for you. Because only God can be virgin born. Only God can suffer and die upon that cross, and only God can pay for your sins. And if your other Jesus, another Jesus, is not God, you are not saved, you are not well, and you will go into hell. Forever. You will hear, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. It's heaven, or it's hell, and there's only one way. By God who said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And if Jesus Christ proclaims to be who he says he is, God manifested in the flesh. And if Jesus, who is God, who professes to be God, and I believe that. And when Jesus, who is God, says, I am the way. What do you do with Baptist, Catholic, Lutherans, Methodists? What do you do with these people? There are no Baptist, Lutheran, Christians, and uh, Catholics, and all that in heaven. I'll tell you who's in New Jerusalem. The bride of Jesus Christ. And to become a bride of Jesus Christ is you must be a born-again Bible-believing saint. And that is done by your faith and belief on nothing more but the shed blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. You see, the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. That's exactly what we're doing here. Four years we've been here preaching the same gospel. And it's heaven or a tale. There is nowhere else. There is no purgatory. There are no virgins. There are no general resurrection and we all go to heaven. The biblical heaven and the biblical hell. It's in the pages. H-E-L-L. -L. Jesus spoke more about hell than he did about heaven. And we stand here preaching heaven and hell because major churches don't do that no more. You're probably going to get a nice firecracker, 4th of July kind of liberty message this Sunday. Or you may get a kind of religion where gentlemen start your cars. Oh, they're all Christians that go around in a circle the wrong way. We stand upon the faith of that driver. That can't save you. You can't believe in someone else's salvation. You can't say that my idol it says he's a Christian, so I'm okay. That's not right. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You, personally. Your mama can't save you. Your preacher can't save you. Your priest cannot absolve your sins, no matter what you were taught. It's heaven or hell. you got a choice. You walk into an ice cream parlor and say, hey, I want ice cream. What do you got? We got vanilla or chocolate? I want peanut butter. No, it's vanilla or chocolate. Take your fit. 
God says it's heaven or it's hell. I want a purgatory. There is no purgatory. I want a utopia. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. God says heaven or hell. Hell because we are sinners. For all have sinned. For all have come short of the glory of God. And the fact is that we are sinners. And we cannot do anything to save our souls. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. People, if I could save myself, Jesus would not have to come. If I could save my soul, there would never be a Jesus Christ. And the fact is that there is a Jesus. It is a fact is that I am a sinner and I need God to be washed of my sins. You need God to be washed of your sins. The Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, who is God. Jesus said, I and the Father are one. Thomas said, my Lord, my God. Beholding the resurrected body of Jesus Christ. You see, my Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father. Your religious figure is still buried in the ground, is rotting, dead, without no power. He needs God to resurrect that body, whether he be dead or he be alive or saved. My Christ, my Savior, my Jesus has come out of that grave. According to the scriptures, three days and three nights. No one has ever done that. No one. No human person has power over the grave like the human God of Jesus Christ. It's to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. There is no other for means of salvation. There is no other to get you to heaven. You cannot pray to anybody but Jesus Christ for salvation. There is no other substitute but that of Jesus Christ alone. The fact is that we can be preserved into heaven by Jesus Christ and anything else, any religion, is artificial preservatives, and it will not preserve you. It will preserve you a spot in hell forever. That's what it will do. There is a way to get to God. There is a way to heaven. And that is through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ alone. Jesus Christ. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. You are coming to death. Death will hit you one day. You may know about it. You may not know about it. But when death comes, it's heaven or it's hell. It's appointed unto man once to die, but after this, judgment. If you do not die in the faith of Jesus Christ, it's hell. You die in anything but Jesus, it's hell. You could bend the best of all the best of the bestest of what you believe. And without Jesus Christ, you die and go to hell. You can be the worstest of the worstest born again Christians. And your faith and belief in Jesus. If you were to die, you end up present with the Lord. Absent from the body, present with the Lord. It has all come upon what you do with Jesus Christ. 
Salvation does not rest in anyone or anything but Jesus Christ. That God manifested in the flesh, took on the nature of Adam, and suffered and died according to the Scriptures. Because I can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. The fact is that the Holy Spirit and God will draw you to Jesus Christ. But the only means to get to heaven is Jesus Christ. You cannot do nothing to please God. There is nothing you can pay to get into God's heaven. There's nothing. It's already been done and fulfilled by Jesus Christ. Believe it on Jesus Christ and you'll be saved. Unbelief in Jesus Christ, you are lost. Saved gets you to heaven by Jesus. Lost will get you to hell anything but Jesus. And you've got to have a biblical Jesus. A Jesus Christ that is virgin born. That means without a human father. Well, that wipes out 99.99% .99 of the human race. Because all humans need a father. All humans need a male and a female to produce an offspring if that's not being taught in the public school system today. You need a mommy and you need a daddy to have a junior. Mommy, mommy, daddy, daddy don't work. But Jesus Christ had a mother, had no earthly father, but by the Holy Spirit was Jesus in that womb. As much as a man, as much as a woman. He took on the nature of man, but without sin. That's the biblical Jesus. The unbiblical, the another Jesus, are this far, way, many, a lot, so many doctrines, so many religions. And yet there's a heaven, there's a hell. And God says, the only way to get to my heaven is by the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Those words were spoken by Jesus. Jesus alone saved. No other. I am not going up to God and saying, God, look at me. Baptist. God will probably say, according to the Bible, the only Baptist I knew was John. And there was no other greater man that was born of a woman that was John. So take off that Baptist title. That belongs to John. In order to come before me and stand before me and go into heaven, you better be relying on the shed blood, the testimony, the gospel of Jesus Christ, who suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You're not going to walk up to God with another name outside of Jesus Christ and be saved. It's impossible. It's scriptural that without Jesus Christ, God will cast you into the lake of fire that burneth forever. That is scriptural. That is biblical. That 
is in the pages of the Bible. God will cast you into hell without Jesus Christ. God don't care what you think. God doesn't care how you feel. God has never asked your opinion. He set the standard by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Every knee shall bow and confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Do it on the right side. Do it on the faith and belief in the Lamb of God that is able to take away your sin. We're all going to stand before Jesus one day. Saved or lost. The Bible says few will go into New Jerusalem. The Bible says many will go the broad way that leadeth to destruction. You can have heaven by Jesus Christ. Or you can have hell by anything and everything else. Now, do you like and want love? The Bible says that God is love. That is an attitude of God. A fruit of the Spirit is love, joy. In hell there is no love because there is no God in hell. In hell you are loveless. But in order to attain and receive and get love after you die, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Many will say that God loves us all, and that's a lie. Because if God loves you, He would not cast you into hell. But if you reject the love of God, the sacrifice, the, the offering, the charity of God, Jesus Christ, there is no more love. And hell is absent of the love of God. It's heaven or it's hell. And you're not going to get to heaven except if you put your faith and belief from your heart. What Jesus Christ has done, his merit, his gospel. That Jesus Christ suffered and died. No one else can suffer and die for you. Now there may be someone here that someone has died for you. They're standing on a, on a land mine or a grenade or pushed you out from whatever. But that can't save you. You need the sinless perfection of God to save your soul. And that was in Jesus Christ. Is that he suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the Jesus you're to believe and to be saved by. And if you don't, you'll be cast off into hell. And if you do believe, you will be in heaven with God and the one that died for you, Jesus Christ. It is so simple to believe on what Jesus Christ has done rather than what man has told you to do. Man will set rules and standards and creeds and councils and will still say in the end, well, we're not sure. And the Bible sets forth Jesus Christ. If you're to believe on him, 
The Bible says, These things have I written unto you, that you may know you have eternal life. Man says, I don't know. God says, you can know. It's heaven or it's hell. There's no other. It is by Jesus Christ. There is no other. Except no substitute, I think they say. To be preserved by God is to be preserved by Jesus Christ. And everything and anything else is an artificial preservative. And do you think God will take artificial preservatives? When the one that is natural, the one that is sinless, has come and died and sits at the right hand of the Father today. The whole world goes crazy over all the ingredients that are put in the food today. Oh, look at all these chemicals. Look at all this junk in our food. And yet you will believe in chemicals and you will believe in junk of religion when Jesus Christ is the sinless perfection without anything but God in salvation. Jesus Christ is more natural than the produce that are being sold here today. This produce one day, if you do not eat it, will rot. Yet Jesus Christ liveth forever and ever. And he's the one that made the fruit. Some of this fruit here today are not even the fruit that God made. has been made by chemists. God made a watermelon to have seeds. Seeds is in the Bible. Fruit is in the Bible. Trees are of the Bible. The one that created you and the food that you eat and the food that you make money off of is the same creator that suffered and died and was buried and arose again the third day that you may go to heaven by faith and belief in him. And you reject it. And you reject it. And you reject it. Imagine the God that's able to make tomatoes and watermelon that was able to come on this earth and live 33 and a half years and suffer and die according to the scriptures. <clears throat> and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures so you can get far more than an Abraham Lincoln or a Thomas Jefferson. You can get eternal life by God himself, Jesus Christ. Except no substitute. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You say, well, what's the difference between Jesus? You said there's another Jesus. There's the Lord Jesus Christ. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. A Jesus Christ that you eat is not Lord. A Jesus Christ that you eat comes out your butt. That's not Lord. That's not God. A God that gets processed at the sewer plant is not a God. A Jesus that is not God is not the Lord Jesus Christ. A Jesus that is virgin born of the tribe of Judah has to be Jewish. Jesus is not American, Hollywood. He's not colored. He's Jewish. Make sure your Jesus is Jewish of Judah, of a virgin, of God, sinless, perfection, approved by God, forever by God. That you may be saved by. But Jesus, that God sent with his love, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, 
that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Whether you receive or reject that Jesus, the choice is yours. You will stand before that very Jesus one day. And if you stand saved, enter thou into joy and the peace of the Lord. If you stand condemned, depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. You can go to heaven or you can go to hell. You can believe or you can choose to reject. But what you do with Jesus reflects where you will go into eternity. If you reject Jesus Christ, you will go to hell. If you receive Jesus Christ, you will go to glory. If you reject Jesus Christ, you will suffer the wrath of God. If you receive Jesus Christ, you will obtain eternal life. If you receive Jesus Christ, you will hear, come. If you reject Jesus Christ, you will hear, depart. If you receive Jesus Christ, you will obtain the love of God. If you reject Jesus Christ, there is no love of God. Listen, people. Just because a church says it doesn't make it so. Not all Christians are Christians. You got to get it on the Word of God. You got to put your faith and belief on the Word of God. And the word of God says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The wrath of God, the Bible speaks about, is hell. The love and joy of peace of God is spoken about Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. I leave you with a choice. And the choice is only two options. There's nothing else. There's a heaven or there's a hell. Heaven is by Jesus Christ. Hell is no Jesus. And you need to be warned because you may believe in a Jesus that is not the biblical Jesus. And don't say, oh, I go to church. Because there are people in hell who are gone to church. Hell is full of churchgoers. But hell has no one that has believed on Jesus Christ to be saved. There is no one in hell that has put their faith and trust in Jesus. And there will never be anybody in the lake of fire that has put Jesus as their Savior. No one ever. God, your Creator, has given you a way to be safe. He has given you a way to be living. He has given you a way of no torture, of no torments. And that way is through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. There is no other way to get to God. For Jesus said, I am the way, 
the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. How dare you go up to God and say, God, look how good I am. When Jesus Christ has finished the work of God, when Jesus Christ has fulfilled all upon that cross of Calvary, when Jesus Christ has come out of that tomb three days and three nights, according to the scriptures, you can't match what Jesus Christ has done. How approved is Jesus Christ? If you do not put your faith and trust of what he has done, God will depart you from his presence forever. That is how much God approves of what Jesus Christ has done. And Jesus Christ, the Son of God that is able to save your soul, God says, I am so pleased with my Son. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Go eat all the world and preach the gospel. I want you to go out there and tell them about Jesus and nothing else. God doesn't want any Christian to speak but that of Jesus Christ and the gospel. Go eat and preach the gospel, the gospel of Jesus, that they may be saved. Don't talk about politics. Don't talk about sports. But Jesus Christ. Now you may tell them that their driver is not going to save their soul, that only Jesus will save their soul. You can tell them that that baseball team is no way into heaven. For only Jesus is the way to heaven. You can tell them that that religion is wrong according to the Bible. That Jesus Christ is God approved. You can tell them I made those watermelons. I made those green beans. And yet you reject me that gave you life. You can tell them that evolution is a lie and Jesus Christ is the truth. You may quote what my son says. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That is the words of Jesus. Don't you dare go to Jesus with anything else but him. Don't you even try to go up with religion. Don't you even try to go up to God with how good you are. Because the righteousness, the holiness, the sinlessness, the perfection is all in Jesus Christ. There is no other. It's heaven or hell. Hell is full of good intentions. Hell is full of good people. Hell is full of church goers. Heaven is obtained by the faith and belief in Jesus Christ. Heaven is obtained only by Jesus Christ.